Hello. Earthquakes have caused a lot of damage during human history. But we can't predict earthquakes. We can only make better buildings or we can make earthquake early warning systems. You may ask how we can make early warning systems if we can't predict earthquakes. Well, we may use the fact that earthquake waves, the fastest ones, the P waves, they travel on average 6 kilometers per second. That's fast. But information that we send from one location to another travels faster than 6 km per second. How does this work in practice? Well, let's say we have an epicenter of earthquake here and we have seismic waves spreading from the epicenter. We have seismic stations here that are recording the earthquake waves. By analyzing those waves that are recorded on these stations, we can give information to a location further away, let's say a city, about incoming seismic waves, about their amplitude, about the time that it will come. So, it sounds like, great, like a great plan. Why have we not implemented it everywhere? Well, there is a problem that we need to analyze the waves. So we lose time in analyzing. That means we have less or even not enough time to give warnings to places further away depending on their distance from the locations of the first seismic stations. My PhD project is focused on overcoming this problem. I found a very young but a very powerful ally that will help me to solve this problem and that's artificial intelligence. In my PhD thesis and my PhD research, I have been developing machine learning algorithms which are going to help us to improve, to make this analysis quicker, that we have a lot more time in giving the uh, predictions to the locations further away. The results that we have until now have been very promising and we have improved greatly on having the analysis done a lot quicker, but with the same accuracy or even better accuracy than we expected. So, we applied the, our algorithm to Central Italy sequence to, from 2016 and we got really good results. We are now working on improving our uh, algorithms even more. This means that we can have early warning systems on local and regional scales which can be useful for many critical systems like let's say stopping trains or stopping important medical procedures.